China has warned that its fall harvest is under threat as the country struggles through the hottest summer since records began 60 years ago. State agencies across China warned residents yesterday to save, quote, every unit of water as severe drought continues, especially in the nation's south. Power rationing across multiple provinces has resulted in thousands of factory closures and is being felt in major cities like Shanghai. Let's get more on this uh, from DW's Tso Tsang Han in Taipei. So all of this sounds pretty alarming. Give us an idea of what's at stake here. Well, many people in China said they have never seen severe power rationing and drought like this in their lifetime. Uh, if we look at the economic sectors that are being influenced, the first one is probably industry, uh, the agricultural industry. And there are a lot of lost crops. China's agriculture ministry also warned that an unprecedented heat wave and drought posed a threat to the autumn harvest. And we have also seen 16 to um, 17,000 companies, including Volkswagen, Toyota, Foxconn, which produce iPhones, have temporary closures and affecting global factory supplies. Now, you mentioned it. Uh, this heat wave and uh, brush fires, for that matter, have led to power rationing in the southwest of the country. What are the downstream effects of that? Well, we've already um, seen large parts of China, including Sichuan, Zhejiang, Jiangsu, and Anhui, are experiencing power shortages. And the big cities like Shanghai also switched off some iconic lights to save power. More than um, 900 million people have been affected. Um, and then we just talked about the power rationing has already been wrecking industry production. And this is a new blow to the Chinese economy, which is already facing problems such as weak consumer spending and a troubled real estate market. So power rationing, uh, authorities calling on people to save water. Uh, what else has China done to deal with this problem? Well, the government has done everything from shipping water using cloud seeding to generate rain to offering direct government support to people who are affected. Authorities also um, trying to make sure there's enough water supply for crops like rice and soybeans, um, which are at a critical growth stage. So really, the authorities trying everything they can to solve this problem. DW correspondent Sol Tsang Han in Taipei. So, thank you. China says it will try to protect its grain harvest from intense drought by using chemicals to generate rain. The country is in the midst of a severe water shortage after its hottest and driest summer since the government began recording rainfall 61 years ago. But can China or anyone really change the weather? Firing rockets into the clouds and hoping for rain. These meteorology workers in China's Hubei province are participating in a three-month project, hoping to save this year's grain harvest. People around the world have been trying to seed clouds for decades, but it's not clear whether it really works. What is clear is that southern China's farms need water badly. If the situation is like this every year, we will have to find new solutions. For example, we will build up nets to block the sun, irrigate every day, and we will install automatic spray systems to reduce our losses. One way to get water to the fields is to divert rivers and reservoirs using heavy-duty pumps. Rice paddies require a huge amount of water and are especially sensitive to drought. Without timely irrigation, the rice would buckle, which would lead to crop failure. But reservoirs are already depleted by the hot, dry summer. That's why authorities are trying everything to save the harvest, whether the technology is proven or not.